Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Into the Breach where today we are just going to burn it all down. We're finally giving in to that urge deep at our core, the thing everyone experiences. Definitely not just me. So, we start a lot of fires with this team. We are trying to boost 8 mechs in one mission and depending on how Kai's ability actually works internally, Kai may make this a lot easier than we're expecting. Uh, we also need to light three enemies on fire with a single attack, which probably... Yeah, we're definitely going to need some upgrades to make that happen, but we can get there. Uh, and also deal eight damage with a single activation of the quickfire rockets. Obviously, um, the boost is going to be pretty important. I think push is also going to be pretty important on that one. So... Do I want Kai on the quick fire Mac? Probably, right? Like it's a little bit of a it's a little bit of a conflict because Kai is going to be most effective on the quick fire Mac, but also that means Kai, who does not need experience, is going to be soaking up a larger than normal proportion of the kills. Just like a little tricky. Yeah, I think I'm comfortable with this at least for the moment though because the most dangerous part of the game uh, is the early game before you have your tools upgraded and you have all your all your extra capabilities. Uh, I am pretty I'm pretty happy with the set of tools we have access to here though. I think I think this is going to be a fun squad. So armor vec or armor uh, scion obviously big problem. Now fire damage ignores armor. That said, I still don't think we want to take this all, this one on first. Uh, moths and yeah, you know, basically just high health enemies. Not really a great starting island. Hmm, this one might be okay. And this is the fireproof. Wow, we we're in for a tough go of things. I think let's start on pinnacle. This is gonna be tough no matter what though. All right, uh, so I guess let's build out this way. So we have the free, uh, freeze and defend is a little bit awkward. We have to do this mission eventually, no matter what. I guess we may as well get to it. You know what? Actually, change of my mind. Maybe we want to try to do a thing to uh, level up our... Level up our squad a little bit, or level up our power level a little bit first. So you have four movement. One, two, three, four. Okay, so it's going to be very difficult to keep the Alpha Leapers from getting on our mechs. And we don't... Uh, Kai has a ton of movement, but aside from that, we don't have all that much movement available to us, so... The Napalm mech has base four move, which is actually really nice. Okay, that's early. So the, um... The explosive Scion is potentially going to be a little bit of a problem. Okay, so unlike most artillery units... You actually are allowed to drop yours in an adjacent space, but it has super limited range. Also, interesting and worth noting, it doesn't actually deal damage. It starts fires and pushes, but it does not deal any damage. Uh, okay, well, like my, my most immediate thought is, it sure would be nice... How does this thing, it pushes units to the side of the thing? Yeah, it should be nice to like shoot fire to right here. To shove that thing over to a place where it will eat the, uh, the Scion. But we do have to make sure that we're going to be able to... I guess I could do that with the, dis or with the Napalm mech if we can get the Napalm mech free. So maybe that ought to be my real priority. How do I do that? Given this position. Because the way this thing pushes is actually, like, extremely idiosyncratic. 
I guess, where can I move you to? Can I put you in a position where you will get to do damage to two enemies? Uh, yeah. I'm a little concerned about the fact that Kai's going to take damage here. And so we're going to lose our auto boost. But it's probably fine. Oh, wait. Will this... Okay. It will not destroy the pod. I'm going to move you as well before I take the shot. All right, then we fire at this base, pushing our napalm mech free. Napalm mech comes down here. And oh, right. I've, I was just talking about how that doesn't work that way. Remember? Remember how I was doing that? Uh, undo move. Shit. I'm one tile short. And only because of the push. So does this this thing's attack doesn't push at all on the axis of fire, though. Uh, tricky. Alright, let me let me try to run back here. Uh so I can just shoot this thing for lethal. Right? The dispersal mech plus Kai can can kill this thing with just raw damage. How do I position myself for that? I don't love putting Kai all the way back here. I guess they're pretty fast, though. Also, if I try to deal damage to this tile, yeah, I'm going to push the napalm mech into a building. But I guess every... Every version of rescuing you pushes you into it, pushes somebody into a building. <laughs> well, okay, if I'm going to, if that's the plan, if I'm going to do this thing, I may as well just use the dispersal mech to clean this area up. Because that version of the thing at least does not cause the napalm mech to take extra damage. So we just go ahead and accept the ugly push. I think that we have to leave this thing alive. Actually... Killing this Vec is going to do one damage to the Napalm Mech, so if we had done this the other way, the Napalm Mech would have fully died. Which would be, uh, you know, not great, obviously. So, like, what am I doing? I'm running to here. Yeah. This is, this is scary, honestly. I'm really glad we're dealing with the Explosive Scion right now. So I push you to there. I think I do have to make this happen right now. And then we certainly don't want to shoot that building. And you've already done stuff for your turn, so yeah. For the moment, we're getting stuff accomplished. Also, we're setting more of the map on fire, thanks to Vec damage, so that's good. Okay, so curiosity. All right, we have zero boost count. So I was kind of wondering if the way Kai's ability works internally is that there's a point of boost that is spent on every attack and then refreshed immediately, which would make it so that, you know, Kai is contributing a large number of boosts every, uh, every battle. It apparently does not work like that. Which is a shame. It's not super shocking. It's just a shame. So we can kill this one too. I think what we need to do is, first of all, put you in a position where you are not going to get pushed into that building. Then we attack here, which saves everything. 
And then unfortunately, to finish this thing off so that we get to live, I can't really take, oh no, I can take a double because I can stand here. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Well, I mean, it's good except for the fact that it funnels all of the experience to Kai. Okay, another important question. We just had Kai consume fire to get boosted while already boosted. Does that count as a boost for the purposes of the achievement? No. Okay. So you must apply boost to someone who has not already boosted, which means Kai uh, counting as permanently boosted makes this really difficult. That's a shame. Uh, I kind of think I want to have the dispersal mech just like stand here and shoot between these two. Do kind of a lot of damage that way. Yeah. And then... Right? And Kai just kills. Oh, Kai does not kill this thing. Why did I think that was going to cause Kai to... Well... I mean, it does cause Kai to kill this thing, just not until the the, enemy, the other pilot will already be dead by the time it does the... Uh, I thought it had a point of damage on it already. I don't know. And the thing is, that actually could have worked out if I had done the attacks in the other order, because this thing would be on fire. I should have Kai move over, shoot it while it was in the forest, so it caught fire and... Yep, we're losing a pilot for basically no reason. Just because I'm playing clumsy here. And we only have two mechs for our final turn, but at the very least, you know, there are only two enemies left. That said, this sucks. How do I deal? Well, so the dispersal mech, if the dispersal mech moves here and then fires there, yeah, that, that cleans us up all right. Lost the pilot, but we did protect all of our, uh, all of our assets. Not so good. Not so good in the overall. We did lose a building as well. Okay, Void Shocker's interesting. Sorry, Sam. So for the moment, no pilot. Just a just a robot. Alright. I feel like I want to throw push onto this mech. We had a couple of situations there where this mech not having push was really valuable, actually. But I think generally it's going to be the opposite, right? Generally, we're, we're going to prefer it to have the push. And also, if we're trying to get the achievement, we have to be throwing, throwing reactors onto this mech. I, I think I'm going to do that for right now. So we did power up pretty all right there. Kill six or fewer enemies is probably pretty doable with the Ice Storm. Let's try the Cryogenic Labs. Let's see if we take damage here. So just, just a million Alpha Leapers. God, I hate, la I hate Leapers. We're going to play far enough back that none of the Leapers can grab our units on the first turn. Okay. So, immediately, a situation where I kind of wish I had the ability to not push targets. Because, like, I can stand right here and just shoot them into the water. I guess it's fine. Okay, so I need to... That pretty much has to happen. Also, we'll start a fire over there, you know, just for the hell of it. I can't. 
can't actually afford to freeze you. Hmm. I just letting this thing deal one damage to the building? I kind of think I am. Because I don't think we actually have a choice here. Also, this is actually really, like, the positioning here is very awkward. I can almost do something of value in a couple of different places. I mean, you can just run down here and start a fire. These things do not have a lot of health, so... Yeah. That's worthwhile. Just start it up. Uh, you can just... Oh, right. Setting a tile on fire... Setting a, setting a water tile on fire immediately melts it, but the boost did still apply. That's what I was... I was a little worried that I was not going to get my boost. Um, so yeah, we just have to let that happen. That's not ideal. I could have I could have done that more thoughtfully and maybe achieved the freeze on that mech with a careful push. But I would have had to, I would have had to have made that decision a little earlier in the turn. Okay. Interesting. Um I mean, I think it's pretty obvious really wish I could move one more space. But, like, this is good, right? That's very good. Freeze the freeze tank. Freeze tank solves this problem. And then you can trivially just drop that guy dead to the fire. You can get down here. I guess the question is, like, would I rather take a point of damage to disable Kai's auto boost in order to try to run boosts on my units more uh, effectively or do I just want to get this kill I think the the answer is probably I just want to get this kill just keep the number of enemies low all right fire an enemy that has two HP starting on fire is pretty fantastic. Right, obviously, I want to set you on fire. Uh, you probably run over to here. I think I we intentionally don't kill this thing, right? Because I want it to die to the fire so it gives XP to the to Pierre Chavez instead of just feeding it to Kai. I could run over here and knock... Yeah. Let's knock this thing out. Oh, am I not allowed to... Interesting. I'm not allowed to fire, like, toward the edge of the map. And I'm not allowed to not fire. <laughs> I guess I'll do this. And maybe you just don't do anything? Oh, you know what you probably do is... You freeze... This guy, so that the, uh... The damage just blocks him. Okay. Or rather, the ice blocks the damage from the Vec burrowing up. Some of the words were in there, but yeah, it would be, it would have been very difficult to divine what I meant there if you did not already know. Okay, this has gone smoothly-ish. So you're already dead. You need a little bit of a push. It's actually pretty hard to get a lot of boosting done under these circumstances. So that's going to be a kill. I'm just going to go ahead and take this manually. No reason not to. Uh. 
Kai is soaking up an awful large percentage of that uh, that passive XP. Okay, so break buildings out of the ice, knock mites off the mechs. I mean, that's interesting. So wait, mites, or mites come off your mechs if you catch fire. I'm assuming that they will not come off the mechs if we run onto a fire and delete the fire to get the boost. Because there's, there, I assume the way that's implemented is there is not actually a moment where I am on fire. Uh, let's go back to this district now. Get this, like, hopefully relatively easier mission. So you also have four move. Man, these things are fast. Well, you know, you only have one HP, though. Okay, beautiful. Perfect. Happy to leave that one frozen. This one's going to do that, which is fine. That's less fine. I am less fine with that. So, like, this play rules, right? Okay. So that vec is no longer a concern. Uh, all we have to do is move you out, and I think we don't, in fact, have you shoot at anything. Because we just got three kills, and it would be cool to take a little bit of a break on that at this point. This one does have to be ignited. There's not really a good way around that. Not that I would want to go around it anyway. And yeah. Am I allowed to shoot this tile on purpose? No, I cannot stop the shot early. I was gonna, you know, if I could start a fire. Feels like we should start a fire. Awesome. The ice will put out the fire. So can have you help me block. You kind of can't really do anything exciting. And you can also help with the blocking. And now the whole front wall of buildings has a shield of ice, so it's probably the case that we can just flee from the enemies pretty effectively. It sure is. Okay, well that's a win. Every enemy freezes, all the spawns are prevented. Okay. I can't even just start a fire for the heck of it. What is the world coming to? All right, well, that was fairly clean. Back to full power, full civilians pr pr protected, got some XP. And so now we're doing one of these. I don't love Protect the Cannon Bot. We have to destroy the hacking facility in order to get control of the Cannon Bot for ourselves. Yeah, all right. I think I like this one better than the Mites. Actually, I'm not sure. Trying to break five buildings out of the ice while also dealing with the mites is kind of a pain in the ass, though. Yeah, let's take this one. Alright, so with this thing having four move, there's no way for us to be safe from it. A name Paul Mech is really weird. Okay.
Well, they sure don't want to give me a lot of opportunity to work on this problem. How am I going to... I guess the answer is by pushing this guy down a tile. But how would I do that? I actually can't. This cannon bot's in a really crappy place. Yeah, if, if we could push the alpha mosquito down to here, it would kill the other mosquito for us. But I suppose that would still cause an explosion because I don't actually have a way of dealing with the blast sigh on this turn. Well, maybe I do. If we can't take care of this problem anyway... I really wish that this was not next to water. Making it super hard for me to do the thing I need to do. I guess I should just break it. I don't love that, but since we have to hit it twice and everything, it would be super cool to get control of the, uh, the cannon mech while it still has its shield up and everything. Okay. So, I can kill this while dealing two damage to one of these enemies. Then we can try to figure it out from there. And I guess it's this one. Oh, right. I have... I have push power now. Okay, so that gives us control of this friend. Who can be used to do some stuff. So these enemies both only have one HP now. Which lets me do that thing. And then you can just barely not get into a position that will matter at all. Yeah, if the dispersal mech could move one more tile. Well, that being the case... Yeah, I guess you just get to deal damage. Nothing I can do about it. I can stand right here and shoot you. And then I think actually the dispersal mech is probably best off just blocking. I would just take that hit on the shield. Let's just get an extra point of damage onto the enemy. But there goes all that power I was working so hard on. All right, the good news is that thing's already dead to fire damage. So, how will I take advantage? I mean, like, this is pretty straightforward. But is there a move that is actually better? Yeah, actually, like, this is pretty good, right? So that boosts you... Hmm. Yeah, because we can move to here. I can shoot some fire, but it doesn't really help to do so. We can set you on fire in that tile, and then I can move you over here. 
And I don't think I even want to do this because getting this kill just burns all the XP. We just kind of want to stand around and wait. All right, and now it'll burn to death the natural way. Okay, that's that's it. We're good. All right, managed our level up just in time for the boss fight. We are definitely in the danger zone power-wise, though. Okay, that is a bad skill. So, Firefly Leader is a tricky one. But we can often use the Firefly Leader to kill other Vec. So we're just going to have to hope for some of that good stuff. No such luck on this one. Uh, in fact, this is... Pretty wild how bad this is. Uh, okay, I guess what I can do is I can run the napalm mech around over here. Smoke that thing in front of the shot. Have Pierre just run down to this tile. Bounce this thing off the mountain for a little bit of damage. And then, yeah, this thing gets to do two damage to the grid, but I was not given a way of making that not occur, so. Like I said, the dangerous, the most dangerous part of the campaign is in the very early going before you have access to your tools. So I am actually doomed now, right? I think there's literally no way to stop this. Well, no, that's not true. There is a way. Do I think I can do the rest of the mission without my napalm mech? Oh, actually, it wouldn't even be without the napalm mech, though, would it? It would be without the dispersal mech, because we have to kill this thing, too. They both have to die, it's absolutely mandatory. And the dispersal mech can't contribute anything over here. Oh no, no, sorry, that's right. We did pick up push on Kai, so Kai can Kai can get you out of the way. And then like How do I deal with you now? This thing has four moves. Yeah, I think the I think the actual only answer to that is um, the napalm mech has to die. We can run to here, start a fire. Then also do some damage. And then just tank this hit. But yeah, if I if I don't body block with the napalm mech, I don't think there's any way to stop this shot from hitting the building. You know, it would hurt more if there was a pilot in there. But we're getting some good damage onto the leader. This is a problem.
Oh, right. Well, it doesn't matter. I didn't have a way of solving that anyway. Like, we were definitely doomed. Okay. That's impossible. Uh, the thing is, I actually don't know that we do want to take Kai. Kai being boosted is kind of detrimental. Well, we're not going to be able to pull this thing off early on anyway. Like, we're probably going to want to add more fire to the team. Kai can help us still get through those early missions, in theory. All right, let's give it another go. I'm sure that I... I'm sure that I missed some plays in there somewhere. But I'll tell you what, from right now, like the position I'm, I'm in right now, just thinking about that island, I don't see where I could have survived that. This is pretty rough. So the enemies here are 3-2-3 three, three on health. That's 2-3-2 two, two with explosions. And that's fireproof and also tons of health. So I think we actually do want to start Archive Inc., even though it does have the armor vac, or the armor scion. I don't know, it's scary. It is certainly scary. Uh, I kind of hate Do Not Kill the Volatile Vac as a mission. Let's go to Ohm Town. Oh yeah, okay. Ohm Town has the mines. I love the one with the mines. It's sad that I only get to start one unit in the mine area. <laughs> that makes my life easier. Okay, so... I would like very much to napalm this thing. Which should be totally fine, right? Well... Oh yeah, sorry, I can't... I can't do it the other way. I don't have enough movement for that. This thing we can resolve just through actual damage from the quick fire mech. And then we have to push this one into the ocean, which shouldn't be a problem. Is there a better way to do this? Yeah, this is a tile I'm allowed to stand on. Okay. Really wish I was allowed to stand there. That would be super helpful. <laughs> I guess actually, I could push you the other way, couldn't I? Maybe that's better. I hate putting the dispersal mech all the way on this side, but it allows for some friendly fire and means I don't take any damage. No, I'm being silly. This is, this is the way to resolve this. We'll take one point of damage, and we'll figure it out afterward. Oh, no, wait. Sorry, these things attack in... <clears throat> I'm having a great one today so far, as you can tell. So actually... Yeah, I don't think it really changes anything. We want to do the damage here, though, now that we know we're not killing this thing for free. It is important to double check the action order of the enemies. And this thing emerged into the fire, which rules, and then it Stole one of my, uh... It just took away our... Uh, landmine, which is a shame. Okay, so those two are both dead to fire now. 
Sadly, you can't quite make it to the spawn. All right. Yeah, boost does not make this attack deal damage. That is a real shame. Oh, you know what? I should have shot this spot. I should have I should have made whatever emerges here emerge on fire. That was an error on my part. Uh, fortunately, it's an error that doesn't really... It's not going to be a problem in the long term, I don't think. So I'm going to step to here, I think. For the easy double. And we're going to get that spawn block. Oh, I should have mm, should have sequenced that a little bit differently, shouldn't I? Well, it's fine. Because now I've pushed you off of the spawn. Yeah. Not ideal. That's alright. It's just one enemy. I'm sure we'll be able to handle him. Oh yeah. Easy. Well, I guess it actually doesn't... It doesn't help to do that, because I'm just going to throw you in the ocean anyway. Okay. Overall, that's a pretty good mission. Ooh, the light tank. Just extra combat units. Pretty big, pretty big deal. Um, how, ooh, we're not going to be able to use that thing for like an extremely long time, though. I think this plane is still solid. We'll worry about this later. It, it takes two reactors to even turn it on, so no reason to think about it now. Ugh, it's a train mission, but it is the armored train, at least. That said, there are very few enemies around here that are dealing one damage. Because even the basic version of the Leaper does three. Ah, uh, let's try it. Alright, so what I would like to do is position myself such that the Leapers don't get to incapacitate me and also be in the way of the train. Oh, no, no, wait, sorry. The Armored Train... The Armored Train kills things when it moves through them. So I actually do want to be over here. I want the Leapers to jump in front of the train. Well, except that, I guess it doesn't really matter. Because if they do jump in front of the train to web us, we still have to kill them. Yeah, it's not its not going to make much of a difference. Is the train, yeah, the train is fireproof. Okay. Good. That's important. I think I'm going to leave it like this. Now, obviously, killing the Armor Scion is a pretty high priority. Especially since we don't yet have most of our ability to start fires. Okay, unfortunately, the train moves at the end of the enemy turn, so that has to get dealt with. But we have a very easy way of doing that. For this round, they were merciful. Yeah, all of this is fine. N none of this breaks anything. So you burn to death, you burn to death. You shoot before the train moves, triple checking, okay. All right, have to assume we're going to get a hell of a lot of enemy spawn markers. Yep, we sure are. Well. Uh, 
All right, no need to do anything further. It will just die naturally. Am I hampering myself by doing too much blocking? Because, you know, XP is still important. Uh, it's probably fine. So you self-repair. You just start a couple of fires. Okay. Especially where the train is concerned, it's probably best to just block as much as we can possibly can. All right, well. How do I want to do this? I mean, obviously we could just have Kai clean it up. I think I'm just gonna have Kai clean it up. <clears throat> Pardon me. Is there a way that I get kills with anybody else? Eh, let's not stress about. Let's not stress too much about the good thing. Oh right, Kai's not boosted. This is not a trivial cleanup. It does still work though. Right, because we do that and then we do this. Oh, and that pushes you out in front of a building. <clears throat> Wait, maybe I have to think about this a little bit more. I'm so used to Kai dealing two damage. So that would deal one damage to each of them, but I can't do that from any other position. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Kai does one damage to each of them. The uh, the dispersal mech does one damage to each of them. And then they just burn to death. It's actually fine. I should have done that in the other order. I'm not. I'm still not sequencing well, but... One of them dies now. The other one dies in a moment. If I had done it the other way around, that 3 XP for the first death would have gone all to the, uh, to the fire mech. just throwing resources away like I don't even want them. Things are going okay so far though. I might want to take on Remembrance Point just because it's easy. You know, if we could pull a perfect island on the very first island, it would be very helpful. Then again, after that we're going to have to do one more mission no matter what. So maybe we take Forgotten Hills now. Yeah. And this way, if we do well here, we can take the um, the soft mission for our fourth one. And if we do poorly and have to repower, we know we know that, and we can we can go for it. This is a tougher set of enemies. And defending these satellite launches might be a little bit challenging. So these things will die. Yeah, that's a lethal hit. Okay. Hmm. That one we can just ignore. So I guess a thing I can do here, though. Uh, this is bad. Well, I don't know if there's a way to avoid it. What I was thinking is we could use the dispersal mech to stand on top of this spawn here, fire to there, dealing one damage and pushing this thing that way so that the quickfire mech could then push the Nautilus into this tile, saving the, uh, the rocket launch. However, doing that is actually kind of a problem. 
because it deals it makes this thing deal one damage to a building and doesn't even kill this thing. I guess it's okay. I mean, I, I don't know that I see a better play. I think I don't want you to move. Yeah, because it wasn't going to be safe to have. Oh yeah, we're, we're going to be okay. I see that. I see the. I see the moves before me now. So we do that, and then we step you in front of this thing. There we go. All right, no further building damage, and also the Scion burns to death at the beginning of the turn. That's a good start. A little bit of building damage, and we are, of course, going to have some difficulties with this down here now. Oh, unless it elects not to attack the rocket launch. I am shocked by that, actually. Shocked and delighted. How do I want to take advantage of that? I mean, what I want to do is just push it to here, right? Now, the rocket launch is after all of the enemy turns. So. Right, I want to move you to the side first, because it's really important you don't move the Alpha Scarab. And then you just kind of get over here and prepare for the next thing, right? We could block, but then I'm going to lose my boost, and I'm not sure that I think that's a good idea. We're only going to have three enemies up anyway. It's probably fine. I'm just going to stand here. Definitely don't want to shoot. Shooting is counterproductive. <laughs> All right, so these two both fail to move. That attack does nothing. And then... Brilliant. And the two new enemies each have one hit point. Well, I certainly feel like I should just... Kai these things... I guess I can also just get out of the way. Let the people who actually need the uh, HP or the XP take the kills. Not that there's much XP to speak of. Uh, and yeah, I, I am going to go ahead and just block with Kai. I think I want all the en enemies gathered together so that we can, like, bounce them off of each other more effectively. It does leave enemies in the area of the rocket launch, which is risky. And, of course, they are acting in the least good order. That gives me pretty easy lethal on this one. Step you out of the way. Actually, I could even just let that happen. Yeah, it's only one damage. So what I actually want to do is just set this one on fire because this maximizes our experience income. And I'm trying really hard. Kai getting the lion's share there. Very unfortunate. A 65% chance of... Exp that's, a, that's a very... That doesn't seem right. That cannot be right. Okay, boost and plus two move on the first turn is actually quite exciting. And at this point, I think we take Remembrance Point. 
We didn't lose that much power. Rem Remembrance Point is a is a fun one and an easy one because the, I mean, easy strong. The artillery mech is it's a fragile little baby we have to protect here. But also, I there's a certain like. I'm often happy to see some leapers. There is a number of leapers where it becomes really dangerous, and I think we are well above that number. One, two, three, four. So you have to start all the way back here not to be in range. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Actually, like, all the way over here? Oof, what a nightmare. And the armor scion, and... It's going to turn out to be not quite as easy as I wanted it to be. Okay. <laughs> wow. Y'all are really after that. Okay, so... What we can do is push this one to there... Order of Operations... Yeah, this attack deals 5 damage, right? So yeah, that one will kill the other one. Uh, this one is killable through the armor. Thanks to boost. You... Oh, you can't quite get that. Hmm... I really wanted that to work because if the artillery support kills this thing, that gives Kai the ability to move into the space where they can kill the Shell Scion. If I can't do that, it complicates things tremendously. And your attack doesn't push, right? Yeah. Well, so we do get to kill it. It's just we have to we have to use them both to do it, which is kind of annoying. Kai still eating XP. Turns out that is still totally sufficient. Yeah, you're fast, Bug. So you don't have boost anymore, but you only need to deal one damage. All right, let me get you out of the way here. Okay, so that thing's dead to fire damage anyway. Doing an all right job keeping the number of enemies low. Okay, that is that is perhaps too many spawns. I think that I think that we should consider whether we are perhaps over spawning. Here's a question. Do I get to do damage through mountains? I do. That's pretty fun. <laughs> Having Vec be on fire is pretty good. All right, so you're already dead. And nobody's actually trying to defeat, defeat any buildings or anything. Well, that makes my life easy. Uh, so... Oh, 
Oh, right. Kai can't get around to the useful side of this. Um, well, what Kai can do is push these two into each other. Yeah, I don't. we don't quite get this kill, right? Because we want to use the quick fire mech. Hmm. Yeah, I want to throw the, the alpha beetle into the water with the quick fire mech. Or the, the napalm mech, rather. Because the napalm mech needs the XP the most. So this thing just gets to live, and I don't think we can really do anything about it. Oh well, that's fine. So you do that. Great news. And then there's a bunch of different ways I can push this thing around. Uh, and none of them does it actually die. Okay. Show me a good level up. Yo, skilled is a good level up. That's actually very good. Yeah, this thing having five move and also enough HP, like, it's such a close range unit. It looks like an artillery unit in the sense that its weapon operates like an artillery unit, but it is in fact a science mech. And I need to remember that. All right, the Scion Abomination is a little bit of a problem, but so far this island is, I mean, it's certainly going better than the last one. Yo, this sucks hugely. This is so bad. Oh, I hate this very much. Trying to make it so that they're not targeting me and getting the corporate tower accidentally. It sure would be slick, though, if some of them would maybe get into these two tiles. Kai talks about repetition a lot. It's weird, right? Alright, so what all do you do again? It's 1 HP, regen, and explode on death. Okay. So... How do we want to deal with that? I do feel like killing the Scion Abomination is a relatively high priority. Moving to here, hitting it for two, to shove this thing into that tile means that all we have to do is bounce it one more tile over and we can just kind of work around those two. It doesn't give me a way of dealing with this problem though. And I really would like this mech not, or this Vec, not to deal building damage. So... What else can I do? Uh, having this mech stand here to take the shot from you, firing there, not to do any meaningful damage, but to push this guy into that space next to the mountain, prevents a point of damage, but it feels like a very weak play uh, overall. You are one short of being able to actually shoot the Scion. Although, you can do pretty good damage overall. Yeah, I think I actually like this. We just get out of the way of this one, right? Then I could use this mech to either deal some real damage to that thing or to kill this thing. I should probably just kill this thing, right? Wait, how does the... Okay, fire damage does happen before the regen. So yeah, this thing would burn to death. It's probably the right move. It's probably a good idea for us to kill something. 
Plus, you know, starting some fires, also a good idea. And we did do one damage to the boss. We're in much more competitive positions now, too, which is nice. Ugh. Of course, it's an Alpha Leaper. Uh, we might be able to use that to our advantage if it goes after the... Uh... Oh, that's not the one I wanted it to go after at all. Hmm. So we can certainly kill this. Yeah, I kind of think I like this play, right? Then we have you just fire here. Is that the best way to deal with this problem? Probably. That thing dies to fire damage, and then the Scion Abomination is in a place where we can actually kill it next turn. And we managed to do all that without having a Vec blow up and destroy a building at any point. completely rules, right? That's just like a really great play. Uh, you can be allowed to do that. You can trivially kill this thing. This one can't really be moved safely. We'd have to move it twice. That said, moving it twice is awesome. And we definitely should do that. Ah, but I can't, I can't save the building from the scarab if I do that. Because I can just take one again. It's not, it's not a terrible thing. It is a little bit of a bummer that the dispersal mech can't deal with this. It has to be the napalm mech. Because I really like to have the Napalm mech do the block here. But yeah, it's fine. I guess I do it like this because I just like I want more tiles to be on fire whenever possible. And you may as well do some damage. Oh, you know what? Actually, I'm going to just fire down here. The science mech can still take a point of damage, um, but now this guy's blocking. And I should have had the science mech stand there, and yeah, that was, that was a little silly, but also, science mech has lots of HP. Alright, we're doing our best. That rules. Yeah, okay, cool. They're not really even trying. Uh, so... How do I maximize the damage out or the uh, XP gain on non Kai Max? I guess the actual answer is it's pretty tough to do. And maybe not worth the effort. Yeah, I'd have to score a point of bounce damage. It just, Kai, just clean up. It's cool, it's fine. Uh, you... Yeah, I think I just get out of the way. Hey, that's not bad. Full rewards, only one, uh... Only one bar away from a full grid. Okay. 
So, killing an enemy will charge the power grid by one point. Yo. That seems very good. Or silica. Oh, wow. Holy crap. Like, geez. Mech can act twice if it does not move is super powerful. And silica is also only 4 XP from a level up. I mean, this is a lot of power over the course of a game, I'm sure. But also, silica. And there's a lot of situations where you can't really take advantage of this. You usually need to move. I'm actually really torn because I think these are both great. Who do I think would be most likely to be able to take advantage of this? We can use the napalm mech to slide people around while boosting them. So there is that. All right. Maybe that wasn't the, the right move, but I, I do really like it. So I think we want to keep Mateo... I'm dropping Liam. Boost on that first turn is really nice. Oh, right. Silica on the mech that has the light tank is also a really good idea. So you could potentially light tank plus use its weapon. I think I am going to do it that way. And we're going to sell Liam so that we can buy three reactors, probably. Oh, right. You have to power this. So actually, this is not active just yet. Uh, I think it makes sense for Silica to be on the dispersal mech. We do want him getting as much XP as possible. Them, I suppose. Hard to tell. Hard, hard to say. <laughs> But yeah, I think like this this feels like it's approximately the right thing, right? All right, so spend a reputation. I guess we should look at these. Uh, the guided missile is an attack that has two base damage and only takes one power to activate. Huh. Smoke drops a little bit less exciting, especially since smoke extinguishes fire. But honestly, the guided missile is great. It doesn't... It doesn't help us with any of our achievements. It kind of pulls our focus off of our achievements. So I th think I'm going to ignore it and just grab three reactors. But yeah, it does seem good, doesn't it? Yeah, all right. We have toys. Let's stay focused on the use of these toys. So if we're talking about three reactors, there was a time when I would have slam dunk gone for this, but I do wonder if perhaps the light tank is the move? It's very nice to have a fourth unit on the table, even if it's not very good. Just like it being able to push stuff around so you have four attacks that can potentially disable enemies. It's very strong. But also we gotta hunt for opportunities for achievements and stuff. And we could swap the situation around a little bit. You know what? I am going to go ahead and install all three of the cores. I think I want to keep the push. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and install these here. After we get that achievement, I think there's a good chance we actually swap Silica onto this mech with the light tank. And then we can kind of like reconfigure things from there. But... That, I think, is where we're going to call it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. That was a pretty solid island after, you know, the other one. Uh, when you come back next time tomorrow, we are... I don't, I don't know where we're going, but we are going to try very, very hard to get these achievements because we currently have actually none of them. And that's a problem for sure. Uh, so come back next time for that, and we'll see you then. <laughs>